All right, so we're back. We're ready for our first big hunt, the Great Azuki. We need some preparations made, right? Well, first of all, you can trap your monsters using traps, pitfall traps, which normally wouldn't be accessible right now, and I don't recommend it. You can also use shock traps, which you can make, but I also don't recommend that. You can go into the menu, look for your traps, and it requires a trap tool and a thunderbug. I do have some thunderbugs to do that, but we're not going to do that. The next thing is you can bring items to boost your power and defense. Not needed. All this was downloaded from the Sunbreak uh, extras. So what else can you do to prepare, is the question. Well, to prepare, I suggest going in here, talking to the blacksmith, oh, it's you. and upgrading your weapon. So, since I'm using dual blades, I'm going to go here for an example. And, like, look, we have a defender weapon, which would be amazing. You can go with defender. They do in short uh, the weapon tree. Uh, grant you a 30% bonus, or a 30 bonus defense, and a 110 attack, which is absolutely amazing right now. The current one I have is 50 attack, and 0 and everything else, and it can go up to 60, but we don't want that. So, I can just go for a high higher damaging one, and right now this is the, I have the, the, the iron ore tree, or you have the bone tree. So, I'm looking at them both. Right, so I get 10 more attack here, and it's about the same on the sharpness, which sharpness is important. So if you have monster bones, get that. If you have iron ore, get that. You should have been making sure that you farm, well, not farm, but do you come across the uh, ore spots and mine them, as well as any fossils that you see lying on the ground, uh, getting those. So we're gonna go ahead and upgrade this. Forge it and equip it. Now, we're going to take a look at our armor. We're going to go into Forge because we don't want to upgrade yet. And this is our set. So we're looking at our skills. Our skills look really good. Um, that's pretty much what we want. We can go here and this is mainly for gathering, so we don't want to gather right now. If you were to gather, we'd probably want to make this set. So. Right now, uh, nothing too special. Uh, we will go with that. And finally, now get finally we have our Dango. Or Dongo. I don't know how ever it's pronounced. How that translation is pronounced. You can go eat a meal. And I always like paying with points. Uh, I'm going to have an excess of points in this. Order Bunny Dango. And these are... The dango that we can have, we can have up to three. You can use a dango ticket, but I don't suggest it right now. We just really need to eat it for the stat boost, uh, for health and stamina. Uh, you can choose whatever you want. What I would suggest, though, let's see here. You could do that, but it's not really needed. Probably the one in sharpness, if you're using a physical weapon. So guns don't really utilize sharpness. We'll go with that. Uh, Defender is always good, so you can go with that. And then finally, what we want is either the... Either of these three. So the Dango Polisher speeds up uh, weapon sharpening. Uh, prevents you from getting knocked on your butt, which is really good. And going with the slightly increases health recovery from items is kind of cool, but I think right now, prevents you from getting knocked on your butt be the three to go to. So keep that in mind. After doing that, you should be all set for your first big monster hunt. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that notification bell. See you in the next video.